welcome to Community Storytelling. Hopefully you know who I am, Lisa Chrysler. Uh, I gotta thank my good friend, my dear friend, Linda Lester, for letting us have this show on KCAT TV and Jayco's Art House for look at these pictures behind us. They're magnificent. So my guest today, somebody already, well, you know the name. You may have never seen the face, but you know the name, my new best friend, Dustin David. Dustin David, I gotta say, that is the best name I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. Is it your real name? Yeah, it's my given name. Your given name. Yeah. So Dustin is David. you and yeah. David is? That's my middle name, but that was my father's name, actually. I mean, what a name for a hair salon. You should think about that. No, it was awesome. My, <laughs> my mom always said, she goes, you got to name it after yourself. It's oh like my gosh. Name. And I guess I should say right away, you did not do my hair. This is me. <laughs> this is me. This is the best I can not do. Yet. But okay, what would you do for me? Oh, there's, uh, we all have oh. to come in and have a sit down. Oh my God, now We're you're making me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> and we then, don't have time for this show. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Can you make me look 20 years younger? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, Easy. okay. What are we doing this afternoon? Right. <laughs> Well, if I wasn't flying out. Yeah, okay. Dustin, David. So you have this fabulous salon in Los Gatos, and everybody, if they don't go there, it's at Old Town. Yes. We still call it Old Town, yes, right? Yes, still okay. call it Old Town. It's there, and you're busy as can be. Did you know your whole life you wanted to do hair? Oh, yeah. Is always. that how I say it? You do hair? Or? Yeah, I do hair, hairdresser, hair burner, however you want. A hair burner? <laughs> haven't heard that one. <laughs> That's kind of an industry term. Uh, my mom always did hair while I was growing up. Oh! And um, I was, she was a single mom. And when I used to go into the salon, I thought, what a cool place to work. You know, everybody smells good, everybody's pretty, everyone's happy to be there. And it's not, she's not sitting at a desk. I thought, this could probably be a great industry to work in. And artistic, and obviously I'm artistic, so. And look at you. And here I am. So, so you decided as a little, a little kid, I'm going to be a hairstylist. Yep. Did you think you were ever going to have a salon with the name Dustin David on it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember coming to Los Gatos because we didn't live here, and I thought, I'm going to have a salon here. This is a really cool town. And um, my mom said, you're going to have to work really hard. And I said, well, I'll do it. And here I am. And here you are. Where did you grow up? Um, we grew up more in a rural part of um, San Jose area, and my mother worked in Los Gatos, so I always got to see it. And I'd come to town and I just thought, why don't we live here? And she said, because honey, it's very dollar expensive. Size. Yeah, she said, it's very <laughs> expensive, Dustin. I was like, so? But. And do you live in Los Gatos now? I do. So you showed her? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, she and, lives here now too, so. So I know for a while you were in business with your mom. Yeah, we originally started the salon together. Yeah. So um, as in high school, I did a vocational program to get my cosmetology license. And when I graduated, I started working immediately. And I started working at a salon where she was renting a station. In I, San Jose still? No, it's, she oh, worked in Los Gatos, right. but we lived in San Jose. So I thought, I don't really want to do this whole station renting thing. Um, I'd like to have a team-based salon. And she thought, you're, Dustin, you're crazy, but let's do it. So we went in 50-50. And, and how old were you at the time? Um, I was just turning 20. Just turning 20. How old are you now? I am 37. Is it okay to ask men how old oh, they are? Oh yeah, are you absolutely. At least? I'll be 38 next or this year. Yeah. In August. And how long how long has Dustin David been in business? So we opened in 2000, and it was Gosh. originally called um, the name of the salon that we had bought, which was Portfolio. Uh huh. And so after um, we moved to this new location in Old Town, uh, my mom said, "You have to name it after yourself." Like, and you said, I, oh, I could do that. I can do that. No problem. Well, I thought Dustin David sounded better than Portfolio. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's paid off. It's yeah. paid off. And you, I, I read about you. I Googled you. Yeah. So you do Fashion Week in New York. I do. Twice a year, I think. They, yes. What do they have, spring and fall? Yeah, spring and fall. So you've worked on famous people, I can guess. Yes, I have. Like who? Oh, my gosh. We have, like, Brooke Shields, Paris Hilton, Nikki Hilton, her sister. Um... Rosario Dawson, uh, Rebecca Minkoff, Cameron Richardson. I mean, that there's like so many. It's kind of when I have time or I'll do anything, right? I bet they've tried to get you to just relocate to New York. Yeah, I was doing, um, I worked with Victoria Beckham a lot and they tried to definitely would have been beneficial if I moved to LA for that. Um, but 
just move to her house, maybe? Yeah, basically. Her mansion? Yeah, basically. <laughs> they basically go stay with her, maybe. Yeah. Um, but I, it's hard to get me out of this area. Okay, you know? so. It's, I love it. You're I staying here. Status. You're staying yeah. put. You, have you ever met Kim Kardashian? I have not met Kim Would Kardashian. Would you like to? Um, yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I like to meet anybody. Yeah? I mean, every, everybody's <laughs> a client to me. Yeah, oh, just uh, a client. Yeah, everybody's the same. Any stories that you can share? Yeah, I was thinking about that, actually. Like, some funny stories, maybe. Um, God, um, I don't know about funny stories, but interesting stories, Yeah, maybe? you have anything? I don't know. I've gotten called last minute to do like photo shoots in the middle of the night to, for an ad that needs to go up. And have you jumped out of bed and gone to do it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I jumped out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> it was maybe 10 o'clock at night, worked all through the night doing um, a sunglass campaign for Victoria Beckham. And I mean- So you I, got a thing for Victoria. Let me ask you, does she ever smile? She does. She does. She's super all right. nice, yeah. Well, well, I know she's very nice yeah. and very giving, but you know, every picture I see of her, it's like she's sad or upset. <laughs> I think that, you know, one time um, I was listening to Julia Roberts talk about something. Not She wasn't talking directly to me. Well, but you could say it. She wouldn't know. <laughs> I, was here, I was here talking. I was listening to her, and she said, if you ever catch her looking like she makes this one face, and that's if she gets caught by the paparazzi, because it's the only face she can make where she can get photographed from every single angle oh. without looking like crazy. She yeah. said, Otherwise, she can get caught looking like horsey or yes. all these different looks, but if she makes this one face, so she said if she ever gets caught, cameras all around, that's okay. the face she makes. So that's what it's all about. Yeah, oh, so right. they, make a, they make a special face, you know, because if you get caught by cameras, there's probably going to be some really bad, I've seen some really bad pictures of myself, so well. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> even care anymore right you know what i said ah people you know, have seen just me post it. worse yeah <laughs> yes just post just it. post social it. media are you big on social media um yeah i'm more recently i think last year i started getting a little bit more into it i'm you know with my job i do a lot of face-to-face -face and um a lot of interaction with touching a person and so i have never been that big into you know taking pictures and posting yes but um i've started more recently getting more it's involved fun. in that yeah, I've got my little Dustin David Instagram. And I love it. Yeah. I love it. We gotta get a picture of us. Yeah. The, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I already did a little Insta story just about make, this. Just make sure you say I did not do her hair. Yeah. Did not absolutely. do her hair. Nobody That'll else did her caption. makeup. Yeah. I did not do. Her. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I, I, we'll I, do a before and after. How about I, that? Oh, I like that mm. idea. So, what do you like to do in Los Gatos? I doubt you have much free time. Yeah, I don't. I do work a lot. I do a lot of travel. Um, like it's one of my favorite things. I just like this as my home base, just because it's so beautiful. We can hike. I have the coast so close. I can go just spend time on the coast in the morning. I like to wake up early and exercise. So I get up. I'll run or I'll go to the beach before the sunrise. Just to enjoy the beauty of the area. Yes. And where I live is like magnificent. I look out down over the town. Oh, how nice. So I wake up and look at how beautiful and green it is here. Yeah, like living in heaven. It is. Yeah, yeah. It really is like a tree house. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So that's your, your business side. But I know you're very big in philanthropy. You're very caring. You're very giving. Tell me some of your favorite projects. Well, I always focus on education and Good for arts. you. I believe that um, people need to be more educated always. I mean, there's never too much that you can learn. And I always enjoy... Um, what would be um, hard to find the words sometimes. Yeah, huh? so, but so tell me some of the the um, nonprofits you've been with. So God, there's I mean so many over good the for years. You. And I've again, done, good for you. I like, love it. Cutathons. I hope uh, local schools. Anything with a scholarship yeah. is is what I'm interested in. Uh, my mom got her cosmetology license through a scholarship. And so that was what made her career and helped her like, she had like a 40 year career. And I look at that and how it helped her and there was no other way she probably would have been able to do it. Well, and I think your mom is single mom and she, are you an only child? No, I have a sister. Okay, yeah. she's raised two kids and look what you've become. I mean, an amazing woman, right? Oh yeah, she was awesome. She's definitely awesome. I always tell her she's my hero. Well, she still is awesome. Yeah, she yeah. still is awesome. <laughs> she still is awesome. But she's just a I great bet. mom to be able to work that hard. Yeah. And again, the scholarship thing, that really kind of 
set me off. So anytime that there's students that want, want to go to one of these private schools or want to be an art student or an art major, anything that I can do to promote that, try so you know what you're gonna be you're gonna be getting calls ringing off the hook <laughs> once this is aired because everybody say oh can you help me but you're the type of guy who I think you take people in I oh yeah tell absolutely that. see that any chance you. I get yeah, yeah any chance I get when I first started I didn't have I didn't have any money or anything that I could donate so I always was donating my time like can I do hair for a fashion show or can we do a cut-a-thon and we raise money in that way and we do this um, day of service at the salon where everybody um, who wants to participate comes in and all the money we make goes to a charity that we choose fabulous so we i mean there's so many different things that yeah. so many every yeah. year yes you got favorite restaurants in los gatos yeah, I eat at Posteria Market a lot. Yeah. It's right down the street from my house, so I can walk down there. That Neat. way I can have a glass of wine. I don't have to drive home. Yeah. Um, I go to Diodeca. Yeah, all right. Lot. Yeah, that's another one of my favorites. Yeah, that's neat. And then where else do I go? I don't know. I kind of, I try to frequent every restaurant, especially the ones that well, let me in. it's your town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think everybody will let you in. And if not, you have them call me. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'll remember that. Yeah, you remember that. I'll yeah. take care of that. What's left for you? I mean, it seems like, what do you still want to accomplish? Uh, well, I've recently been doing a lot of um, emceeing for these events. Now, now you're encroaching on my territory here. <laughs> I don't know if I like you that. Do ha you do have my dream job. <laughs> Um, well, you can't have it. Right. Well, I, was, I always loved um, Joan Rivers. And Me too! She's like one of my heroes, and she I saw her right before she died, too. Where did you see Mountain her? Mountain Winery. Okay, I was not at that performance, although I had my radio show at the time, and we were. I know that was a, a bad night for her in terms of I think her throat was already bothering her. Mm -hmm. She did great, though. I mean, she was magnificent. And still. I, I saw her right before she died at the Fox Theater in Redwood City. Yeah. My daughter took me because my daughter said she knew I had to see her at least once. Yeah, it was that I, I've been waiting since I was a kid to see her. Oh my gosh. Anybody else who you just are madly in love with? Um, I don't know. You know, I don't have a, bu a bunch of celebrity crushes, yeah. but she was one of them for sure. Yeah, she's a great woman. Everything she did, I liked. Again, interviewing people, going up the red carpet stuff. And a fabulous philanthropist. Yes, always. I mean, involved in so many different yeah. things. Like, super... But I think you're on your way, and I love, I love that. I love people who are involved with nonprofits, who have a passion for education. And I hope you remember your roots where you came from. I think you do. Oh, yeah, I'm never going to forget. You know, the struggles your mom must have had. Absolutely. Yeah. Did she make you do a lot of chores? Oh, oh my. <laughs> well, you were the only man always, in the house. Yeah. I was like vacuuming four times a week and bleaching the counters every night. Um, but yeah, she, she kept a nice tight ship, but she taught me a lot. Oh, you are, you are fabulous. You know, I, I fell in love with your name before I even met you. And um, you just do so much, and I, I love the I love the energy about you. I saw. Do and, I live up to that name? And, <laughs> <laughs> Have I lived up to you that left, name? And 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 then some. Oh, and then awesome. some. I don't even know how to end this story. Any stories I've missed that I should have brought up? Well, the story's not over, this, so it's that, to be continued. That. There you go, to be continued. <laughs> I may ha have to have you back on this couch again Oh someday. my God, I can't wait. Or then if you get your own show, I'll be there. Ah, uh, yes. You can do a makeover. Like I said. First client, first, all right. First oh makeover. My God. So what is it, you know, I always say when I, when I end a show, besides thank you to Dustin David, everybody has a story. What's yours? You just heard Dustin's. He had many stories. We got to get you on too. We have to, you can sit where Dustin's at. How about that? How about that? I love this show. I love being with you. Oh boy, community storytelling. If you've got one, Dustin David, we got him from kcat.org. He was nominated. You nominate someone. You can nominate yourself. And thank you so much for being with us here at KCAT TV 15.